With me right now is Nate Custer, the Public Information Officer with FEMA. How are you doing today? Doing very well, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be on with you. Certainly. I know that a lot of Coleman residents have questions about FEMA's operations here in Coleman. When did um, the agency first arrive here in Coleman? I can't give you an exact date. I can tell you when the county was declared by President mm -hmm. Obama, which was a week ago today, last Friday morning. And Coleman was one of the original eight counties in Alabama that were declared. Now we're up to 41 counties for what we call individual assistance, which is to help the citizens. Mm -hmm. Now what exactly has to happen before FEMA can go into an area and really start to help the residents? The local, in emergency management, the local first responders, they're the first line. If it's more than they can handle, they will call for help from the state. If the state becomes overwhelmed, which happened very quickly here, then the governor makes a request to FEMA. Usually FEMA comes in along with the local officials and does a canvas of neighborhoods, a preliminary damage assessment. This was so obvious what happened here, but that was an expedited declaration. So that brought, that brought Uncle Sam, if you will, into the picture very quickly. Right. Now what specifically has FEMA been doing in Coleman City and the county and then the state in general as far as disaster management? Well, we have been putting out the message of how important it is for people to register by calling 1-800-621-FEMA or going online at disasterassistance.gov. The registration process is very easy. Your name, your social security number, the address of the property where the damage occurred, a means of contact because a lot of people have had to move in with friends or family. So a means of contact because after you register, you'll get a call from a FEMA inspector, often within a matter of days, the inspector will make an appointment and come out and look at your property and evaluate the damage that was incurred. So you have to register. That gets the ball rolling. Now, what we have done here in Coleman County is uh, at the beginning of uh, this week, we opened a disaster recovery center. It's at 1702 Second Avenue Southwest. It's near that big Save Lot grocery store. Mm -hmm. That is a place where you don't necessarily have to go there to be considered for help from FEMA. But if you have questions, if you'd like to talk to somebody face to face, if you're unsure whether something that happened to, to your property is maybe covered for help by FEMA or whatever, you can go out there and talk to somebody face to face. Also at the Disaster Recovery Center, the Small Business Administration is there because the Small Business Administration, now they will help businesses recover with low interest loans. But in a case like this, they provide low interest loans to individuals. So they can uh, provide something that is beyond what FEMA may be covered. The FEMA help is a grant that doesn't have to be repaid. The SBA application would set up a loan for, for people who are credit worthy, a low interest loan. Now all of this I'm speaking of is for losses that are not covered by insurance. The agencies will not duplicate insurance coverage. Okay, so all of this all of this money that they would be getting is in addition to insurance money. It would be what insurance doesn't if, cover. If insurance doesn't cover it or if they're underinsured or they have no insurance. It's designed to help people get back on their feet, the FEMA aid. It isn't really going to make them whole again to where they were before this happened. But it can cover things like temporary housing costs. If they've had to go out and, uh, and rent uh, somewhere to live uh, or stay in a hotel. Also, it can cover home repairs uh, that are not covered by insurance. If their home indeed is repairable, obviously a lot of these homes are totaled. Right. And uh, it will also cover some other uh, areas uh, such as um, personal property and people who, uh, who rent, renters who don't have insurance, they can be considered for, for some of their losses. Okay, so Coleman residents or any residents really who have been affected by the storms the most important thing is to register. If you live in a declared county, okay, and as I said, we've got 49 of those now in Alabama. I can, I can tell you this also that uh, about 40,000 people statewide have registered, and we've already approved over $17 million in, in assistance. That's fantastic. And when, when you register, if you have a bank account, you give the account number, and then you get your money by direct deposit. Okay, so which would be things way up. faster than checks. Right. So can we go ahead and step through the process of registration one more time? You call 1-800-621-FEMA, or you go online at disasterassistance.gov. It takes on the phone maybe 10 or 15 minutes, just giving basic information, your name, your social security number, what if, uh, insurance, if any, that you have, the location where the damage occurred, and a means of contact. That's very important because people are in a uh, temporary location. They've been uh, literally blown out of their homes by what happened uh, last week. 
So the inspector, a FEMA inspector then will gets that application as it goes into the system and will call you back as an individual and make an appointment to come out and, and look at your damage. The inspector will do a little tally um, with an electronic pad, a little, little mini computer or whatever of what he or she sees and will forward that on up to uh, through the chain of command. The inspector on the scene doesn't decide whether you should get a certain amount of money. But a lot of these uh, damages are kind of a pattern or there are a set of values involved. So that's, how, that's basically how it works. And then beyond that, if you want some individual assistance or face-to-face, -face, a lot of people like to just have somebody to answer their questions. Mm -hmm. They're not sure about the whole process. Then you can go to the Disaster Recovery Center. And here in Cullman County, in the, well, in the city of uh, Cullman, it's at 1702 2nd Avenue Southwest next to the Save-A-Lot grocery store. All right. Again, this is Nate Custer with the Public Information Officer with FEMA. Thank you so much for talking with well, us. Thank today. you very much for having me on. And we, I want to just let you know that FEMA is working with all our other partners, the state, the nonprofit organizations, the faith-based organizations, the individuals, the private sector. We're just one part of the, uh, the long, long recovery effort. All right. And we hope that you will stick with us just like everybody else through this long recovery process. Thank you. Thanks a lot.